Hello, today we will tell you about Paxos Standard. It is the world's first regulated crypto asset. Paxos Standard token is fully backed by 1 to 1 US dollar issued by Paxos Trust Company and is approved and regulated by the New York State Department of Financial Services. In this video, we will explain in plain language what this cryptocurrency is, how it works, how it was created, and how one becomes rich by using it to make millions. And also we'll tell you some secrets that will be very useful for you. We'll leave you a link to buy Paxos below this video. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like it. Stay tuned, it will be very interesting. On September 10, 2018, New York-based blockchain company Paxos announced a new stable coin called Paxos Standard with the ticker symbol PAX. It is a fully dollar-backed stakeable coin issued by Paxos Trust Company. It is also regulated and approved by the New York State Department of Financial Services. Within three months of its release, PAX reached $5 billion in transactions, and just over a year later, in November 2019, it is the 33rd largest cryptocurrency by market capitalization, with a market cap of $226 million. Paxos describes itself as the first regulated trust company with blockchain experience and uses that experience to create a modern settlement solution that can eliminate risk and simplify settlement. What many people may not know about Paxos is that it was actually founded in 2012 as Paxos Trust Company and that for most of its life it ran the 8-bit cryptocurrency exchange, which is still active today. The creation of Paxos was a turning point from an exchange platform to a company focused on creating a modern settlement platform using blockchain technology. Paxos' press release states that as a trust company, Paxos is a fiduciary and qualified custodian of customer funds and therefore can offer greater protection for customer assets than any other existing stablecoin. Here are some important facts about the Paxos standard that you should know. It is an ERC-20 token built on the Ethereum blockchain. Once registered and verified, users can purchase and redeem PAX tokens directly from Paxos.com at a ratio 1 to 1 per user dollar. Paxos tokens remain in the circulation only as long as the corresponding US dollars are held in reserve. When PAX is exchanged for US dollars, the tokens are immediately burned or destroyed. When trading on the EatBit platform, which is also owned by Paxos, investors will be able to withdraw other digital assets to PAX instantly and without fees. Paxos Standard will trade under the PAX ticker and while it remains a service token, it will also be available on other exchange platforms. Since Paxos Standard was creating as an ERC-20 token, it can be stored in any ERC-20 compatible wallet. The PAX smart contract has been audited by Nomic Labs, a respected smart contract auditor, and account reserves will be audited by Withium, the nation's leading accounting firm. Paxos became the most widely used cryptocurrency in no time thanks to the support of more than 20 exchanges and OTC tables in its first five weeks of existence. It was raised and listed on six of the top 10 cryptocurrency exchanges Binance, OKEX, Gate.io, ZB, KuCoin, and Digifinex. And additional exchanges are planning to list PAX very soon, including OKCoin. These exchanges offer PAX as an alternative to the questionable Tether. As of November 2019, 42 exchanges are offering the PAX token, with OKX Korea having the highest trading volumes, followed by Bits and Bitmart. In addition, numerous OTC trading and marketing firms, including SVOX, XBTO, Cumberland, Hudson River Trading, Galaxy Digital, FBG Capital, Two Rivers, Alameda Research, OSL, DV Chain, and QCP Capital are ready to go, that is, support large deals from experienced investors. Because PAX offers immediate settlement and proven reserves, it has quickly become a trusted staple among traders. The rapid institutional adoption of the token shows how much demand there is for a regulated, dollar-backed stablecoin that traders can trust. In the five weeks since its launch, Paxos has already issued $50 million worth of PAX, and demand shows no sign of abating. However, despite all the news about Paxos' new stablecoin, Paxos is not just a cryptocurrency tied to the US dollar. Instead, it is primarily a payment platform. Unlike the controversy surrounding the people who control Tether, there is no such ambiguity about the people behind Paxos. 
The CEO and co-founder are Charles Coscarilla. He has worked in the financial services industry for over 15 years and co-founded Satter Hill Asset Management back in 2005. Before that, he also worked at Bank of America and Goldman Sachs. Joining him on the top team is Andrew Chang as Chief Operating Officer. He has more than educative experience at some other technology companies and is a partner at Liberty City Venues. Before Paxos, he worked at Google in business development for displays. The rest of the management team has similar experience with numerous industry veterans. Another compelling idea behind Paxos is the advisors they have through their board of directors. You can see the full list here, but it includes Sheila Baer, former head of the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, and Bill Bradley, a former senator from New Jersey who served as a chairman of the Senate Finance Committee. Paxos has created a platform that combines distributed ledger technology with regulated trust status to minimize settlement risk. The rationale for creating such a platform is very simple. By having a regulated trust, Paxos has the legal ability to transfer assets and money. By combining this permission with blockchain technology, these transactions can be done quickly, securely and without risk. This combination can be integrated into business and finance to solve the long-standing problem of settlement risk. Paxos decided to create its platform without its blockchain and instead based itself on the Ethereum blockchain. As far as I can tell based on information from the company's website, there are currently no plans to migrate from Ethereum to their network. Looking at Paxos's working papers and their white paper, we see that the project aims to solve the following problems. 1. Rapid transfer of currencies as well as an immediate exchange of physical assets for digital assets. The goal of these is to minimize the risks of counterfeiting. 2. Reduce or eliminate transaction costs for trading transactions. 3. Minimize commissions and fees in connection with the transfer of funds. Paxos Standard is the first digital asset issued by a financial institution and fully backed by US dollars. While there have been other similar stablecoins, there has been no evidence of full US dollar reserves, nor have these earlier assets been issued by a financial institution the Paxos team has pretty clearly announced the other base that Pax works with. In theory, one Pax will always be equal to one US dollar. It's too early to see how well this works, but given the rigorous auditing and destruction of tokens exchanged for dollars, it seems realistic. After 14 months of existence, the record high for PAX was $1.10 on October 15, 2018, and the record low was $0.96 cents on October 26, 2019. This, of course, is a bit out of theory. A one PAX is $1. The PAX token is an ERC-20 token, and while it was originally released on the rather unpopular Eatbit cryptocurrency exchange, it was quickly adopted by many other exchanges, including the top three global cryptocurrency exchanges, Binance, OK, and ZB.com. Some have wondered if another stable coin is needed in the cryptocurrency ecosystem, and the Paxos team addressed that question by highlighting the following features of PAX. PAX allows the user to convert digital assets into fiat currency without commission. There is very little volatility associated with PAX because of its pack to the US dollar. Assets can be converted from physical to digital and vice versa very quickly. Each PAX token is backed by US dollars, which are held in accounts at major US banks and insured by the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation. In practice, PAX is not that different from other cryptocurrencies, and this is especially true when compared to other stable coins such as Tether, TrueUSD, and Gemini dollars. One difference is its use as a service coin, with PAX designed primarily for use on Paxos platforms. It was never created as a tradable asset, but can certainly be traded on third-party exchanges. On the 4th of September 2019, Pax has announced Pax Gold, a product that will allow people to buy digital assets backed by one troy ounce of gold in walls located in London. It is the very first cryptocurrency backed by gold. Pax claims that owning a token gives ownership of real physical gold and provides users with a serial number for gold billion in a London vault. PAX Gold tokens will also be available in amounts starting at 0.01 PAX G, meaning investors can easily access extremely small amounts of gold. 
The PAX G token is available on the EatBit Exchange, which is also owned by Paxos and can also be purchased directly from Paxos by creating an account on their website. There is currently a PAX Gold launch promotion that gives a 2% discount on the first 7,000 tokens sold. As of November 17, 2019, there are 3,994 PAX G tokens in circulation, which means there are 3,006 more tokens for sale that can take advantage of this discount. It is interesting to know that the LBMA gold price is $1,467.65 as of November 17, while the PAXG price is $1,425.09. The lower PAXG price takes into account the 2% discount, but is even slightly lower than the base gold price. PAXG is an ERC20 token like PAX, which makes it flexible and can be used wherever the ERC20 tokens are supported. Paxos argues that the PAXG token is preferable to physical gold because it will have a lower storage cost and PAXG token holders will find it more flexible than the physical gold it represents. Thanks for watching this video. Check out the channel for more videos.